Okay. I was meeting with my family for Mother's Day. I, I have two sisters. I ended up going to one of my sister's house, but apparently she's not coming at all. And it's, it's where my mom lives, because my mom lives with my sister. But it's at my other sister's house, which is thankfully only like... Oh, never mind. It's 20 minutes away. Oh, shit. Ha! Escalators! 20 minutes away, but... <laughs> we're gonna make it work out. I'm just surprised. I... Oh, here's a bump. Maybe I can do a video on transitioning. You know? It's a simple video. People like transitions. Let me just show you some transitions. I'm just gonna transition to each one. Hey, so now we're at the lake house. Um, my sister's lake house. You can see it by the lake behind me. <laughs> That's one simple transition that most people do where you just put your hand to something or like you throw a shirt onto something and then you phase out by like going backwards from it. So whatever you put on, whatever color it is, make sure you stay with the same color, the same movement, or same body part, I guess. Gonna shoot a little bit of VO, and we're gonna just go from there. I'll, sh I'll see you guys in a bit, okay? Whoa. Okay, hope you enjoyed that. We're gonna do another trick where I'm holding the camera like this with like one hand and then we're gonna move in a different direction and we're gonna be in a different area. So let's try a few different things. Ooh. <gasps> okay, it seems like this transition worked, and now we're back in my room. Seems we left the lake house, uh, 6.40. Yeah, we were there for quite a long time. We got there at like 1.30. Seems like a good time to get back. So, thanks transitions. We're back at home, and I'm going to tell you the next transition that I personally like, and I'm not sure if anyone else has really seen it before. I mean, you've probably seen it before, but this is one that I like to use sometimes just because it doesn't really require that much to do, but it's cool because you can do different angles and different locations of it. This transition that I like to do is called the magic box. I call it the magic box, it's probably not, but it's kind of similar to doing the transition with the hand or any kind of body part covering the lens and then going back out. But it's slightly different. Okay, so for this trick, you can see this door is open over here. Uh, we're gonna call it our box. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this camera inside the box and I'll be seeing you in a bit, you'll see. Hey! Yeah, remember you were in that one over there before? See, I, I put you over here. Right over there. So, that's the simple magic box trick. So as you can see, there's a lot of different transitions. I mean, there's a lot of ways to just like make things happen inside of a video. You really just gotta get creative with it. You could literally make anything into a transition. For example, I could use this timer, put a timer down, put it on this black table, and then if I was able to find another black table, I could just put the timer finishing, and then we could be in another place. Like there's literally just about endless creativity when it comes to this. There's a variety of ways of doing transitions and these are just ways to do them with film. They're, if you wanted to use Premiere or After Effects, then your transitions could get really crazy. But personally, as someone that doesn't really know much about After Effects and the, there's a lot of people using the same Premiere techniques, this will make you a little bit different if you're able to get creative with it. Just by copying me completely, it's not gonna help you personally. It'll help you a little bit, yes, but if you keep doing the same techniques without make, putting your own flavor on it, you're just gonna be a copycat. Hey, 
This guy's a great big phony. I mean, that's fine. Like, copy people if you're learning from it. Just don't copy people for the sake of copying people. I mean, personally, yes, most YouTubers that are starting out will be copying from a lot of other YouTubers in a sense, but like, everyone puts their own flair in it. You know, just because I watch a lot of Casey Neistat and Peter McKinnon and Matty H and all these other big YouTubers that aren't like, you know, just photography people, it doesn't mean that I'm trying to copy them just for my benefit. I'm trying to learn from them and then I'm trying to apply what they teach so that way I can learn it and then I can give it out to other people because as human beings, we're trying to provide knowledge to one another. The reason I created this channel was because I am influenced by these other YouTubers to try doing YouTube for myself and trying to show the world who I am and how hard I work to try to learn something new. And that's why I'm trying to give it to you. So take these transitions and make your own spin on it and let me see those transitions, you know? Tweet it out to me or do whatever you want. But hopefully, as usual, I hope that these transitions helped you out a little bit. I mean, they're ones that have already been used a lot of times, but you know, maybe you're finding my video and you've never seen it before. Either way, I hope this helped you out. I hope you have a fantastic day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Oh, and uh, yeah, you can just, the simplest way to transition out of a video is just by putting your hand on it like I just did before. So. Um, let's find something new to transition. Uh, 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 uh. I got it. Ready? Ready? Transition out! Whoa!